Hey guys, I hope everyone's had a good week. Sorry, my cat really wants to be in the video. Um, stop it. Uh, this video is aimed more towards my actor friends and people that are interested in getting started in acting. Um, this is tips for submitting to casting calls. Um, if you have an agent or a manager who's submitting to everything for you, then, I mean, I guess it's really not that big of a deal. You don't really need tips, but if you're like me and you started out just doing it yourself, um, and I'll also list some of the best places, uh, to find casting calls. Um, I mean, I'm just going to list stuff from the Dallas area where I am, the websites that I use, but you can just go on Google and find casting calls all day long. Um, I'm not going to get into the process of going to the audition and what you should do at the audition. Uh, I'll save that for a later video. So right now I'm just going to talking about uh, going to be talking about uh, the do's and don'ts of submitting yourself for a casting call. So say you're on a website, you see a casting call, you fit one of the characters, um, they'll most likely give an email for you to uh, submit yourself to the casting call. Um, some people will list instructions like send a demo reel, send two photos, and send your resume. Okay, You send as much of that as you have. Um, if they don't have instructions, then the standard is really just send your headshot and send your resume. And if you don't have a resume, if you're just starting out and you don't really have an experience, then tell them that. I'm just starting out. Um, I figured I'd be good for this role and would like to audition anyway. Um, if you have a little bit of experience but not enough for a resume, then just list that in the body of your email. Um, you know... I've done two plays at my church and helped a friend with a short film, something like that. Um, so first tip, follow the instructions if there are any, okay? Second tip, always be professional. No one wants to open an email to a casting call and see, yo, man, I saw your awesome movie and would love to audition. Uh, I'm your guy. I'm your insert lead role here. Um, what do I need to do to audition, period, send, like, no one wants to see that, it's not professional, um, and it just, it just gets annoying, uh, you want to be short and sweet with your email, okay, so, really, the first two things, follow the directions, always include a photo, and your resume, or experience, and be professional, don't make your email too short. I've gotten at least four different submissions to my casting call. Just this one casting call that I'm doing right now alone. Um, someone said along the lines of, I want an audition, period. And that's it. Or, I would, I would like to audition for your film. That's it. Or, what do I need to do to audition, period. They don't send their name. They don't send a photo. They don't send any experience or resume. Uh, I'm nice and respond to most of those people and will tell them, please send a photo and a resume, but most professional casting directors will not even look at that and they won't even respond to you. And I've done casting on three separate projects now, so I've seen kind of both sides of it, and these things are really important. Um, so you don't want to make it too short, but you also don't want to make it too ridiculously long. I had someone send in, I think, three different headshots, three different body shots, their resume, and in the body of their, like, two or three page long email, no joke, listed all their experience, where they went to school, every workshop they've ever taken, every acting class they've ever taken, um, all of their voice acting experience, and stuff that you just really don't need. It doesn't matter what role. If you're auditioning for the lead role, a supporting role, an extra, you know, you just don't need all that because all of the important stuff is going to be on your resume. Um, so I'm going to tell you the little template I kind of always use when I'm submitting to casting calls myself. Um, and like I said, some people will have specific directions. Like they'll say, include, the, you know, the name of the character and the subject and in the body of the email write your availability for your audition and send your photo or something like that. Like, they'll have weird guidelines. But if they don't have any of that, if they're just like, email me if you want an audition, then this is just kind of the standard that I use. Just, hi, I saw your casting call on insert website here. 
and I'm very interested in your project. I would love the opportunity to audition for insert role here. Please view my attached resume and headshots. Thank you so much for your time and consideration. And you put your name and your phone number if you want, or your name and the link to your website, you know, as your signature or something, and that's fine. And then you attach a headshot or two and your resume. You do not need to list in the body of your email everything you've ever done because chances are they're not even going to look at that. They want to see something short and sweet and professional and um, your picture first. And once they see your picture, they will decide there if they want you to audition because it's it really is a lot of it. I mean, because it's you're making a visual art. You want people that look like what you want for the character. And so a lot of it is really just looking at the picture and saying, definitely not. Yes, no matter how good you are, they just want you to have the face first. Um, so they'll look at your picture, and then if they want to see your experience, they will check your resume. Um, but you don't need to list all that in your email. So I hope that those tips helped. Um, I'm still doing casting for Blood, the short film I'm working on, and it's going to be awesome. So if you haven't submitted for that and you want to, you still can. Um, we're still in the process of scheduling in-person auditions. We've done a lot of video auditions, so there's a little bit of time left. Uh, before we stop with casting. Um, if you would like the opportunity to do that, message me on Facebook, or you can message me directly on AllieStolar.com, and I'll post the link for my website uh, for you guys also. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some good information out of it, and if you are an aspiring actor, keep going. It is hard. You're going to get a thousand no's before you get a yes, uh, and I hope that these tips helped you, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.